Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamea's promo. And currently, as of the recording of this video, it is February 9th, 8 o'clock at night, and there has been some updates for multiple Samsung Galaxy devices. And my guess is that some of these has been coming out just because Samsung Galaxy Unpacked has happened today. So now they are able to maybe update a few things inside of these devices. Now you will notice the Galaxy S21 Ultra over here has a much, much smaller update. It's 281 megabytes. The version ends in BVA6. So this one was will be mostly probably just the security patch, but then when it comes over to the flips and the folds for the Galaxy Flip 3, the Fold 3, these ones are much larger, over a gig. These ones are sitting, or right at a gig, uh, these ones are sitting at 1,082 megabytes, and the Fold 3 is at 1,094 megabytes. The versions here, again, ending in BVA9 for both of these. Now, I will not go through every single thing all of the Samsung services and applications just to see what has been updated. So we will be taking a look at though, we will be taking a look at the Samsung Home, the camera, Samsung Messages, device care, along with fingerprint and face recognition, just to see if there is any newer versions uh, for any of those applications and services. But again, I do wanna see if there is something maybe inside of the camera that has been updated with these two over here, more than likely, you know, with your Note 20s, also with the S21 Ultras, the S20s, it's probably gonna be mostly just that security patch of February 1st. Again, it's February 9th, it's definitely due for right now. Samsung had a lot on their plate when it came down to the unpacked today. Now, if you guys are interested in the in unpacked information, I'll place a link below the video inside the description that'll take you to the video, talking about all of the savings you're able to get with the S22 series, as well as the Galaxy Tab S8 series. So as these phones are downloading these updates, it's usually at this point in the video, I like to state if you guys are brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. You appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, or the latest updates on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. And especially if you're interested in the Galaxy S22 series, I did order the S22 Ultra, which is basically the Note 22. And I will possibly maybe get the Tab S8 Plus. So if you wanna learn about all those products, I will be having those videos coming up very shortly. If you missed the unpacked, you missed some of the information, I have a video linked below the video inside the description taking you to all of the deals and all of the savings you're able to see with these devices. When I purchased the S22 Ultra, I was able to save over $1,100. And in that video, you're able to learn how. So the update is done and complete. So when it comes down to the Galaxy S21 Ultra, we are pretty much done with this one for this video. Uh, that one was just mostly just a little security update, mostly just for the security patch. But we will be taking a look over here at the Galaxy Z Fold 3, just to see what has been new. And anything that you see that's new on the Z Fold 3 will also be new on the Z Flip 3. So the first one that we'll take a look at will be Samsung Home, just to see if there is a newer version of this one. Now, originally it was sitting at 13001 Five, five. This one's now at 13.005.33. So there is a newer version or better supported version of Samsung Home. Now let's take a look over at the camera. Now for the camera, uh, I will actually open the camera just to see if there is anything newer inside of there. Um, you know, that could possibly help or be similar to the S22 series. But originally the camera was 12 0, 0, 0, 9, 7. This one's 12 0, 0, 3. 16. So it looks like that this one is a newer version. So we'll take a look at this one here after a minute. Now let's take a look at Samsung Messages. Now I do use Google Messages, uh, but when you take a look at Samsung Messages, let's see if there's a newer version sitting here. Originally it was 13.0.10.17. Uh, this one was 13.0.10.107. So slight upgrade, a different version here, uh, sitting for Samsung Messages. And then now for fun, let's take a look over at Device Care. So when you take a look over at Device Care, you wanna scroll down. We're gonna go inside of Battery Device Care, top right hand side, go to Device Care. Originally it was 13.0.0.27, and now it is 13.0.0.0. 28. So another uh, slight upgrade of Samsung device care. Now we'll take a look at the biometrics. And this is where we're going to take a look at the fingerprint reader, face recognition. And then after this, we'll take a look inside of Galaxy applications, just because there's a bunch of Galaxy apps that need updates. Uh, so we'll take a look at that. And then we'll take a look at the camera. So biometrics and security more biometric settings, security patch. So for the fingerprint reader, it was 6000. It is now here, 6004. So there is a newer version for the fingerprint reader. For face recognition, it was 2113. 
This one's 2113. Face recognition is the exact same. Now, uh, after you update a phone, you do want to go through your Samsung apps. So you want to go inside of that, that Galaxy store, see what is new. So let's just go, we'll take a look here. When you click on menu, then you go inside of where it says updates at the top. I do believe that there was a few that has been updating as I was turning on this phone. And even right before I shot today's video, there was like seven or 10 updates. So there is a few of them sitting here. So you have Bitmoji, uh, TTS, which is text to speak, as well as reminders. So you can go through, update those. Now I wanna go inside of the camera just to see if there's like a little uh, orange dot letting me know that there could be something newer. You know, sometimes it doesn't even show that there is something new but you might notice that maybe the shutter speed maybe might feel a little bit quicker. Uh, uh, here you can actually see that there is this little dot for director's view, which means that there could be a small update for director's view. So it could be maybe just better support. So inside of director's view, basically what it is, is you are shooting with the rear camera, uh, but you are able to see what all of these look like, you know, in real time without having to go to one of those lenses to start recording to see what the view would look like director's view gives you that option for all three of the camera sensors on the back. So there could be just a little bit better of quality, uh, you know, a little bit more support when it comes over into director's view uh, with this slight little update. But if you guys appreciated this video, make sure you just give this thing a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs>